Hey everybody, thank you for watching All About Toys. Today we have some exciting new toys, DC Superhero Girls. We have Katana, Batgirl, Wonder Woman, and Bumblebee. So let's open these up and take a closer look. Also available from this series is Green Lantern, Supergirl, and Zatanna. Just put them out of the package and they look fantastic. I am a big fan of Katana's design. I love her color palette. I love the textured kind of sparkles on her dress. I also love her bamboo styled armor on her arm. I'm loving the way Katana's mask fits on her head. Sometimes masks can look a little funny on dolls, but they molded it to perfection. So here is Bumblebee. And I think one of the greatest parts of her new outfit design are these boots, just how big they come out at the bottom. That is such a fun costume little design that they put in for her outfit. I love the expression on her face. I think that is just so cute and it just really shows us her kind of personality. So her wings, you can position them however you want. You can kind of close them up or you can open them up to look majestic. The visor comes down wow. over the eyes, little antennas on top. This looks awesome. They did a really good job of it. Something that I think works great for these dolls is you have plastic as well as fabric. It's neither all or the other, and I think that works great for a fun action style doll. They did a really good job putting bead designs all over her outfit. I just love kind of this honeycomb texture on her boots. That is so cute. And now for Wonder Woman. Look at Wonder Woman. She is probably one of the most stunning dolls of this series. She just really stands out. There is a blue tint and dye to the black hair, which really adds for a nice color contrast, especially for this animated series. Nice design all over the outfit pieces. I love the armor on her shoulders. I think that is just such a nice touch. Let's talk about the paint job for these dolls. I think Mattel did a fantastic job of having a clean paint job. Nothing looks smeared or funny or off as well as the sculpting on the characters. They did a wonderful job of making them look animated, but very, very nice as a doll. And for my favorite doll, here is Batgirl. She is definitely amazingly designed. I'm really happy they chose to do the purple and yellow design for this character. I think the gloved hands, the utility belt, and the gauntlets here just look really, really classic Batgirl. And at the same time have this animated look that the new series has. This cape, although it's not a figure size, reminds me of the Kenner capes that the Batman toys would always have from the Kenner lines in the 90s. I just love her bright reddish textured hair. They did a beautiful job on that. The cowl fits on nicely. It has a large eye size around the eyes, which is due to the nature of this animated series character. I think her costume is perhaps the most simplest out of all the other characters, but that does not make it any less charming. It just has a little less going on than the other characters. So great job from Mattel for variety and height in these dolls and variety in different expressions. So we don't have anything negative to say about these dolls. I think they look fantastic. They function really well. The quality of the design and the fabric and plastic is really good. I wish these came with accessories. However, these are the basic dolls. So it's understandable that they do not come with accessories. Plus, I think they'll be making some that do have accessories eventually. We have to get those. So just so you guys know, they are articulated on the head the arms, the wrists, and the legs. And I'm really happy they have articulation on the wrists. Usually you just have the five points of articulation, but having some wrist, and it's always nice for articulation on the wrist to have different action poses and positions. We love the new DC Superhero Girls dolls. We also like the show, by the way, it's a fun show. And I think Mattel is gonna do a fantastic job with this toy line. We can only hope for more. Bring on more characters, bring on more of a variety of dolls and different types of toys, maybe even some role play. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're not. Let us know what you guys think of these dolls in the feedback below. We love hearing your detailed thoughts on all of the toys that we show you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching All About Toys and stay tuned for more DC Superhero Girls dolls. Yay, bye!